What's up, guys? It's Zed, and this is episode 18 of the FIFA 21 Creative Club Career Mode with Zilla FC. Last match, last episode, rather, we're able to defeat Manchester United in a very, very tough, tough match. And in this episode, we're starting with the match against Wolverhampton Wanderers, and we're going to be simming it. And let's see if we're going to be able to come out with a win. And we do Zaid scores as usual and Greenwood. All right, next up is the match against Napoli, and I'm going to be playing this one. This match is going to be in their in their um home and i'd like to also come up with the win there we're currently five points clear of of siska moscow and we are six points clear of napoli in third so that means that we are actually we have already qualified for the um knockout stages and that is good our first our first ever um season in the champions league we are qualifying in the knockout stages and that is something that we should be really really proud of so i'm going to be rocking my away kit as usual we have already won one match in it with that was the match against manchester united and i have no idea why this thing is still on the first team sorry on the second team so i'm going to switch it to the first team here and then i'll talk to you guys after the match sorry about the way my voice is it's i kind of have a cold and i'm trying to actually like force myself to talk normally so sorry about that if my voice is low and shit like that the job is partially done through to the knockout stages but they want top spot in the group we'll have all the action here on EA TV it is a city where passion for football is red hot welcome to Naples in southern Italy my name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Champions League, this group stage contest. It's Napoli against the Blades. Well, they may already be through, Derek, but they'll just want to finish top of the group. It might just give them a better chance in the knockout stages. Away from home, this won't be easy, though. And a look at the starting 11 for Blades. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. It's the Blades' turn now. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Can he finish? And foiled only by the crossbar. Oh, and a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really. Opportunity in the wide area. But they dealt with the threat posed. And showing fine vision. How can he take them on and beat them? Happy to take on the shot. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Oh, 
thwarted by the post. Can they hit on the break? Well, they're so unlucky not to be level oh, now. Oh, wait a minute. They could be in here. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. And he's fired over the corner. Oh, my goodness! What an outrageous hit! I can't believe he took it on from there, and neither can the goalkeeper. Well, let's look at this again. He judges the flight of the ball, he sets himself ready to strike it, and then he just hits it so sweetly. That's the perfect volley. And now, a throw-in. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Very creative from the Blades. He's got to have a go here. Well, as you can see, this is a great bit of skill. He hits it perfectly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant strike. DeVoe. Zaid. He continues his run. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Super stop. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. He just needs to keep a cool head. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. As the stats show us, the visitors have had most of the play. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard oh, to play. Oh, Stuart, they've got to score. Oh, that is a majestic goal. Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Insigne. Marcos Acuna. Still not clear. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. But the goalkeeper didn't have to work quite as hard as I thought he might initially. A really intense pressure applied. And threading it forward. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. William. Lo Celso. And throwing himself up the ball. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Zaid. He takes aim. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, let's see this again. Look at the bend he gets on this. That struck so cleanly. What a good finish. Insigne. It is now with Jorginho. There goes the final whistle. 6-1 is what we're able to do against Napoli. And... <laughs>
Yeah, we are top spot and we are going to the knockout stage for sure this time. And if this guy has scored four goals in this match, that is absolutely crazy. He has to be. He's the man of the match to be everything and he's definitely good. He's definitely on another player of the year at the end of the season. We are back to the Premier League and we are up against Leicester. And if we lose this match, we're going to drop points and Liverpool might have the opportunity to pass us. And I'm just going to switch that back to my first team and we should be able to be clear. And yeah, we do actually. Foden and Gravenberg should grab the goals in this match. Alright, so here it is. Who will be 2023's player of the year? And there's Jao Felix, Mane, Mbappe and Salah. So I'll actually like to see who will win this award. But if I miss it, I mean, they're not even announcing when they will like say who won. So I just hope I don't miss it though. Alright, so we got prize money for advancing to the next stage of the Champions League and that is crazy. We have £27 million added to our account. 28 actually. So this match will be another match that is first versus second. And we're going to be using our away kit as well because I'm actually really, really enjoying that kit. And it look, looks really nice. Look at the height difference between these two guys. <laughs> That's crazy. So I'm going to be using my first team as usual, folding Greenwood Zaid up top. Greenwood's already at an 86. I'm waiting for Foden to to um, reach 90. And Devo, Devo actually did really well in the previous match, getting uh, two goals, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he got two, and Zaid got the other four. So that was a really good performance from him in the last match. A long way to go this season, but a colossal match between first and second today that could play a pivotal role in who is crowned champions. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Anfield, one of the most storied venues anywhere in the football world. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Liverpool against the Blades. Thanks Derek as always this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. Well, no surprise to see us focusing on him, the official manager of the month. What a superb month it's been. And oh, the big chance here, Derek. Brilliant save. A very effective challenge put in. Well, pressing really high. Devoe. Oh, a lovely ball. He just needs to stay level-headed now. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. This looks promising. And he takes it on. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Short corner it is. Oh, it's a penalty. Can they get themselves in front? Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. But for me, it's not a yellow card. The ref has got that right. This to make it 1-0. A goal! Accurate from the spot. Here's the penalty again, and the keeper's pretty unfortunate, really. He's able to read the intentions of the taker. He's gone the right way, and he gets a touch. Just not quite enough to keep it out, though. Unlucky. Gives it a go. Nicely blocked. Money! Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted me. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. 
Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. The ball rolling again. The blades in front. Let's see if they can build on their advantage. Ryan Grafender. Al Rahab. Kamavinga. Well, that's a well timed pass. He just needs to keep a cool head. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hit play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Ryan Grafenberg. Surely! And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Sadio Mane now. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. A oh, big moment. moment here, Derek. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those one feet. To the owner of the red hatchback blocking the emergency exit, please return to your vehicle immediately. Thank you. Now, sending it in. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Alexander Arnold. And the Blades have possession again. Oh, in with a chance. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so Decent alert. looking attack here. Liverpool have the ball once more. Federico Valverde. And the keeper dicing with danger. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself towards with the back post. Well, the keeper wasn't pulled by it at all, the natural fact. And just one minute remaining. And he's through here. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any sub. And that is that. The all right, so we're able to get a whooping six goals past Alisson. And, well, <laughs> wow. Then... Yeah, honestly, I'm really speechless. I'm actually really speechless because I don't even know what to say. I don't know how it happened. This guy, this guy has got to be the one that is carrying this whole team. I mean, okay, he's not the one carrying the team. Like, the team is actually really good. But then he's just the main man. He's the really, he's just, he's just really, really good. So the next match is against Spurs. And I actually don't know where they are on this table. Arsenal is fourth. That's a big step up from last season. Because they were almost relegated really last season. Spurs is on the on eleven. Chelsea's on eight. Then Leeds, Bournemouth, and Burnley are the lowest clubs, and they are the ones that are going to be relegated if they are still like that by the by the end of the season. Uh, we are. How many points is that? We are six points ahead of Liverpool, and we have one game at hand. So we are. If we win that game against Spurs, we are going to be nine points away from Liverpool. And that is a really, really good run that we're having right now because we are undefeated still in the league. We have 14 wins, two draws, and that is 
that's a really good record. Are we going to be able to like break that hundred point mark? I think Manchester City did it. So are we going to be the other one that does it? This is the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you aren't if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.